ability made to produce weapon-grade uranium on a fairly significant scale. What we did was um, looked at King Song as very real possibility. And the key thing is, is there an area large enough to take the low-enriched uranium up to weapon-grade uranium? And that requires a certain number of centrifuges. And what we saw was, yeah, there, there, it's a fairly long and narrow section of the plant that could be used to do that. So, so from that point of view, yeah, we think King Sun could be the place we could show that. Look at just the raw floor area. Kang Son can hold 6,000. Yang Bian can hold 4,000. Right there, can't have more than 10,000. I think certainly what I'm, I'm estimating, an upper bound could approach 10,000. But, well, I, I don't think I'm above 10,000, and, and I can, it can be a couple thousand lower. So right now we're settled on about, uh, yeah, 150 kilograms. So about a, it can, collectively, North Korea can make about 150 kilograms of weapon grade uranium per year. It depends on how you use it in the bomb. Well, we would estimate, well, define nuclear weapons. If they increase the enrichment capacity of the centrifuge, that number will go up. If these images are really from inside Kangson, they show that there is a facility which is capable to produce more uranium than what you are, enriched uranium than what is possible to be, to come out from the Yongbyon uranium enrichment plant. You see that it's somewhat different from the ones which Mr. Hecker reported from uh, Yongbyon, which tells that they are more advanced centrifuges. This is the first thing. And when they are more advanced, most likely their capacity is higher. So therefore, they can produce more enriched uranium.